David Hogg has become an outspoken advocate for gun control ever since he survived the Valentine's Day shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. However, he was probably wishing he had a firearm on Tuesday when SWAT officers responded to a reported threat at his home in an upscale gated community. David Hogg was the victim of a so-called swatting prank on Tuesday when a hoax 911 call saying he had been kidnapped sent a team of heavily armed police officers to his house. The Broward Sheriff's Office SWAT team responded to the anonymous call shortly after 8.30 a.m. Neither Hogg nor any family members were at the home at the time. The teen activist is currently in Washington, D. C. The call was regarding someone in the home with a weapon, said Gina Carter, a BSO spokesperson. We responded to the home and cleared the property. It was established that the call was a hoax and detectives are investigating to try to find out who made the call. For his part, Hogg described Tuesday's incident as a silly prank. He told CBS Miami, it's an attempt to try to distract us from what we are trying to do, which is solve the gun violence epidemic and get youth out to vote. Hogg said he had no idea who might have been behind the call. The teen activist may want to start taking this incident more seriously, though. It could have just as easily been a real threat, and if, God forbid, that was the case, he would have had no way to defend himself. That's precisely the problem with gun control, criminals don't follow the laws. We've said it a million times, but I suppose we'll say it again because it is so relevant in this situation, in particular, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. It's certainly a good thing that there was no real threat at David Hogg's home today. He may be the most annoying teenager in America, but we wouldn't want him to be seriously hurt. After this scare, however, he may want to consider arming himself if he can get around all of those pesky gun control laws he's lobbied for, that is. The irony in this situation, of course, is the fact that Hogg has campaigned tirelessly to disarm law-abiding Americans. He's even decided to take a gap year instead of going to college this fall just so that he can pursue his activism. If there really was a hostage situation at Hogg's home, he'd surely wish that he had a way to defend himself. Hogg has positioned himself as one of the most recognized activists in the country, and as such, he has made himself a target. There are a lot of people who don't take kindly to his antics. If he was smart, he would carry a weapon. That's a bit problematic when you're incessantly campaigning for gun control.